Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools, and today is December 12th, yeah, it's 12-12-22, which means it's time for Deals of the Week! Let's jump into it, because we only have a few weeks towards till Christmas, so it's time to get some gifts out there, especially if they're gifts for yourself, if you know what I mean, and let's start off with the one that is a perfect one, the Makita 18 volt subcompact 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 brushless cordless circular saw tool only this is a six and a half inch saw this is a small this is not a big kind of saw you're not going to be doing heavy duty kind of stuff with this but it's lightweight it's brushless it'll get most of the jobs done it's going to be easy to carry around again makita you know they're kind of the guys who started the whole full power subcom uh, subcompact kind of thing all right, how about this? We got the Makita. We got the 18 volt LXT lithium ion cordless inflator. Again, tool only. These deals are going to be for those of you who are already in the Makita lineup. Now, uh, it, it's uh, it's not the. This has been around for a while, but the real deal here is trying to find it on sale because these things almost never go on sale. We got them at ninety nine dollars. Let's see what else we got from Makita. We got the LXT brushless cordless jigsaw this is a fine jigsaw here this one's gonna last you a lifetime this is a great jigsaw at 175 dollars again tool only this is the brushless level of makita that's gonna put it on par with the uh, milwaukee fuel line it's gonna put it on par with the, the dewalt xr line this is a top tier professional cordless tool all right and what else do we got well we gotta talk about Probably the best book that's ever been written by man. The Home Distiller's Workbook, your guide for making moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. Yeah, this is the gift that just keeps on giving because nothing about, like, the knowledge of how to distill for yourself. Anyway, written by our very own Jeff King here. There's the, the original version. We got the How to Make Beer version. Uh, these are both available in uh, paperback and on Kindle. Uh, the, the Home Distillers version is available in auto, audiobooks. That's something. Or if you just want the ebook version, you can go over to denatools.com. You can grab yourself a hat. You can get a sweatshirt. Got to get one of these enamel camping mugs. How do you not have a camping mug yet? And then you scroll down to the bottom. And we got the ebook version of both books. Okay. Also, don't forget to check out our other store over at Teespring. It's the one that pops up below all these videos that's integrated in there with YouTube. We got other coffee mugs. We got more Shine On merch. We got the zip up hoodie and uh, some more hats there. So go and check those out. Christmas is around the quarter. Better order now. No guarantees at this point if we'll get there by Christmas time. But if you just show somebody the, the, the picture, they get it. It'll be there. All right. Now let's jump over to Amazon. Talk about a deal. I always talk about picking up a nice cheap set of router bits for when you're just getting started. But if you want to take it a step higher, the Bosch RBS 006 quarter inch shank carbide tipped multi-purpose router bit set. This is a fine set of router bits. Are they the super top notch ones? No, but they're good for pretty much most of the work that you're going to be doing if you're doing fine woodworking i totally understand jumping up to an even higher level a bit but for a getter get started at a higher tier kind of this is definitely the prosumer kind of level here maybe even the value pro 89 dollars for that for that was a six bit set that's and it's got all the classic ones that you're going to want now let's talk about Irwin because amazon has a bit of an Irwin sale going on we got the Irwin Marples Forstner bits here, the 8-bit set here for $25.48. That's a pretty good deal, but how about this? We got the 14-piece set here for $42. This is a fine set. This can cover almost all your Forstner bit kind of needs. This is a great set to pick up for $42. What else we got from Irwin? How about this? We got the quick grip sets here. We got one, two, three, four quick clamp sets. These are fine, fantastic quick uh, quick clamps here for four. What was it twenty two dollars? Can't really go wrong with those. Next up, we got the Irwin's. This is their wire stripper multi tool kind of you know uh, cutters, strippers, the whole nine yards. The classic old school version of it. Can't go wrong with that for eleven dollars and eighty nine cents. And then we've got. Also, check this out. We got the quick release ones. Now, these take a little bit more of a finesse to learn how to use just right. But once you do, man, you can rip through some wire. I Once I got a pair of these, when I used to run wire, I started... I started with these and I thought they were, they were good enough. And someone put a pair of these in my hand and I was like, where have you been all my life? 
But again, there's a little bit of fine tuning to get it done to quite just right. All right, next up we've got here, we got the, of course the long long nose or needle nose, six inch here, pliers here. Those, of course, that has to go with it. If you're doing any kind of work, wire work, any of that kind of stuff, you got to pick up a, a set of these. How, all right, now we're going to talk about wrenches and we're going to talk about gear wrench and there's going to be a theme throughout the day here for the gear wrench wrench set. So what we got here is we got the 14 piece, 12 point reversible ratcheting combo wrench set. This is, it's a decent starter set, $69, $70, but don't order this one just yet, okay? 73 tooth, 70, that's an odd tooth number, 73 tooth. I keep telling people that there's different levels of gear wrench out there, and you're going to kind of see it as we go through the day today here. So we got the 73 or 73 tooth, 14 piece, 12 point reversible, uh, and, and I do like the reversal. Rather than having to just flip them over, you just flip the little switch. Okay, so let's let's hold off. We're going to start with those, and then we're going to take from there. Let me just show you some of the the finer points on these things. All right, it's a nice set. All right, let's let's move on here. All right, we'll come back to these. Now we've got the Duratec. All right, this is your uh, ten piece, not quite as many pieces, six to eighteen millimeter CRV carrying bag. You're looking at twenty eight dollars. Duratec, of course, that's part of Great Star. They're a Chinese. This is a budget brand. Okay. I'm gonna put these in here at the the these we're gonna rank at like a, a number uh, probably a prosumer level okay is where these are gonna land these where these are gonna come in at your entry level kind of price point all right next up we got the Nico now these these are fantastic the Nico impact sets man they're just ridiculously good uh, somebody tried to tell me that that the that Nico actually makes them from Proto. I have absolutely no confirmation on it, but if somebody can find something like that, I would love to see it. But that said, they're a friend of the, of the channel. They've sent some stuff over before. Really liked about everything they sent over. Was not super thrilled about the power tools they offered. They're just kind of a an OEM of somebody else. But the impacts, all the sockets and that stuff have all been fantastic. $111 on that. That's a fantastic set right there. Now, next up, we've got from WorkPro, that this is, again, go, jumping back to that entry level kind of stuff. WorkPro, again, another friend of the channel. They sent stuff all, over all the time. Of course, my favorite knives, they're little stainless utility knives. But if you're looking for a just getting started set of pliers, this has got it all. You got the tongue and groove, you got the needle nose, you got your regular slip joint. By the way, in case a lot of people don't realize it, the tongue and groove and what I call the slip joint, they're both technically slip joint pliers, all right? Then you got the side cutters, you got the, the I guess the first ones were the mini needle nose, and you got regular needle nose, and you got their basic lineman style. And then the last one there, I can't see it under the, the seven pack there, it is uh, the bigger slip joint there. So you got the six inch, the eight inch, eight inch tongue and groove, AKA the channel locks. You got the line style pliers. That's a great starter set right here. And what is that? It's $19 on that. So that, I mean, that's a pretty cheap price for a decent, reliable set of, it's not professional grade. You're not going to use them every day in the shop kind of stuff, but for your average homeowner, they're going to do just fine. All right. Now talking about some getting close to professional grade, we're looking at the DeWalt definitely in the prosumer grade maybe even um, maybe even up into that value pro when it comes to the sockets they're pretty good not a huge fan of the ratchets but you know what they're good enough to get started with if you're looking for a one and done set just to get started and fill all those those little check mark boxes you want you got half inch quarter inch three eighths 192 piece this is the dwmt 75049 just in case you're comparing stuff out here $149, lowest price in 30 days on Amazon. That is a decent set to pick up. I mean, there is some filler in there. Let's not get wrong. They got some of the Allen wrenches down there, but honestly, not a lot of filler. Plus you get some of the bit drivers as well with it. That's a pretty nice setup there if you're looking to just fill out a whole bunch, or if you're looking for a portable set, an automotive set, throw it behind the back seat in the truck. Not a bad one. Now here's, I got this next one and, and bear with me for a minute because I realize a lot of you are going to be like, I've never heard of this company. Why would we talk about this one? Well, here, I'm going to tell you. this It's a heat gun. It's a variable speed. It's got all the little nozzle bits. It's corded. It's got the little clip, hanger clip thing on it, so you can do all that fun stuff. But it, And it can sit on its back end because the back end is, is basically flat, so it can sit there so you can work. And that's what I was say about working hands-free, basically, so you can have two hands on the workpiece and just have the heat gun there doing the job. But why am I recommending this? Well, somehow this slipped under the radar to me, but look at this. Look, look at this. 
25,595 ratings. That's not how many have sold, been sold. That's just how many people took the time to review this. That's an exceptional amount of, of sales for this. Clearly, some people know something that we've missed out on on this heat gun here because, you know, for what's the price on that? That is, it's on sale right now, $22.61. If you've been looking for a heat gun, I I have not used this myself, but 25,000 25, people have used it and thought enough of it to give it a fairly decent review. So maybe it's something we should check out, huh? Maybe this might be the, the next go-to solution here. All right, next up, let's talk about bins on bins on bins. Storage, you know what? I'm sitting at my shop right now, and I just unloaded my bins. I got to tell you what, I got this warm, fuzzy bear feeling all over the second I get all those bins set up and know that I'm going to have everything organized. Love knowing that I've got a place for everything, and everything can go in its place. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff here on Amazon in this category for sale. So I'm just going to link to the whole thing. Look, you can even nest, you can put your soda cans in them. Because I'm sure it would just be soda, right, folks? Of course, in the shop, just soda. Anyway, they got all sorts of deals here. I'll let you step through them. I'll put a link, as always, links to everything here is down below the video description. You just scroll down below the video, the part where it says see more. You click on that. It expands out. And then all the links are right down there. All right, next up, I've talked about these before, but you know, they're on sale, $55.99. This is the three-step ladder, 500 pounds. This isn't a step ladder, and I like to, you know, I always like to say I never really did know my real ladder, but I gotta tell you what, if this was my, if, and this probably would have beat up my real ladder. This thing is durable. We use this one in our RV as stairs for the bunk beds for the Cubs back in the back, uh, in the slide out area of the, at the back of the RV, but that said, We've used these things all over the place because they're not a ladder so much as they're portable stairs. They are that secure when you're going up and down them. It's not like climbing a ladder. It's like stepping upstairs. And if you don't need the full height there, the three one, we got a two-step here for you. Look at that. You want to get some stuff off that top shelf? Maybe for the missus in the kitchen, she likes to store. I know mine likes to store some of the stuff she doesn't use all the time up on top and even above the cabinets. But guess what happens? Especially right now, come the holidays, they're getting down the platters. They're getting down all the big accessories they use once or twice a year. Well, it's time to get up there and get them, and this is the perfect way to do it. Again, it's they're so secure. They're so much better than your regular little aluminum stepladder kind of thing. As I said, it's a portable staircase. 47, 40, yeah, 47, $48, call it what it is. And, you know, it's, it, it's just the security and peace of mind, all right? Now, this one, top test. I got to talk about them. We did a sponsored video with them a while back. I, I think at this price, come on. $16.99. There's a little 5% off coupon. You can click on it as well. It's going to take a little bit more off. These things for that price for gas detection, if you're dealing with propane, if you're dealing with natural gas, if maybe there were too many beans in last night's dinner, you got to be safe, folks. So get one of these. I keep one in the RV because in an RV, that's a, it's a big issue, gas and, and whatnot. And you're always kind of doing that little sniff test going... <laughs> What was that? Was it, we got a gas leak? No, you, you want to be safe. And if you're doing it at home, you're doing barbecue, any of that kind of stuff, just grab one of these. $17 is peace of mind well spent, all right? Next up, Nico. We talked about Nico before. Check this out. We've got the extra long security bits bit set here, if I could get it out. So the extra long bit set, this is a, a great one to get because, come on, there's lots of times you look at it and they're going, oh, I got to get a security bit. Okay, I got that. But you've got one of the little bits, right? And you know they love to sink those security bits way down in there where you can't get to them. We've all been there. $20. This is, again, what we call one of our get-out-of-jail-free get out tools. You don't need it very often, but when you do, you're really thankful you've got that card to play. All right, next up, we got some warm winter gloves. I got to be thinking about this because I got to tell you, I just ripped my uh, my last gloves. They were pretty cheap, uh, and and I'm looking for some good warm uh, winter work gloves because let me tell you the wind it, it's cold up here but it's the wind the wind comes ripping down out of paradise valley and it brings all the cold and the snow with it and look at that those look nice and toasty and for that price how much is that 12 uh, 13.59 on these that's a price i can i can live with for some warm work gloves i'm gonna have to check those out because uh let me tell you like we're moving the shop 
you know, if, if I don't wear good gloves out there, because our storage unit's on the end of town and the wind comes through there, it's just I'm working with like nubs because I can't feel a thing. All right, <laughs> laser measure. This is a great stocking stuffer right here. $30, the mil, mile CE, I don't know how they pronounce this thing, but it's got everything built in. It's got bubble levels on it. It's got the laser measurement kind of thing going on. It does it all. And, you know, it's so much easier than back in the day than trying to, you know, use your tape measure to go halfway across the room. They have someone hold it and go to, you just walk in, put it up against one side. It, it's got a double laser on it, if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, or, yeah, there you go. The, oh, that's for the bubble levels. No, it doesn't have a bubble, a double laser. My bad. So you back it up against the wall. All right, I, I saw that diagram. I'm like, double laser? That would be cool. But no. Anyway, point is, for $30, it's a great little tool, nice stocking stuff for something to consider. All right, again, I, I know I kind of bang this drum a bit, but during the winter time, generators, having a good generator is just, again, it's peace of mind, something about safety. We got an email from our internet service provider saying that there's a big storm coming and if you have not been watching the news and the weather i don't know what you've been missing or why you haven't because you've been missing the storm winter storm of the century seems to be blowing in it's going to rock the sierra nevada's come across it's basically going to go swing right underneath us we're supposed to get two to four inches of snow Billings is going to get a foot and a half. The Dakotas are going to get slammed. We're looking at some places two feet of snow in the in the the uh, Dakotas, and then that's just going to carry on through the rest of the Midwest. You know, uh, if you're in Wisconsin, Michigan, and stuff, look out. It's headed your way. Just we're getting storm after storm after storm this year. Oh my gosh, global warming is just terrible, isn't it? Anyway, so. <laughs> We got the champion. Oh, anyway, I was saying, so we got the email from our, from our internet company saying that they're, we're going to lose service. They're like, it's going to happen. And as soon as they get the roads clear, we'll get trucks out and fix it as soon as we can. Luckily, I got a satellite backup, so I'm not so worried about it. But uh, other people, they may not be able to get their email. But let's be honest. If the lines are going to go down for internet, those piggyback on the same poles that a lot of power and stuff go on as well. Uh, or at least telephone. I, don't, I think they got them separated here. Anyway, point is that power is likely to go out. So you don't want to be without power for too long. And you want to get yourself a good generator. So what we got here is we got the Champion Power Equipment 2500 watt dual fuel portable ultralight. This is also going to be ultra, uh, ultra quiet, whisper quiet here. And uh, so if you got propane to run on, if you got uh, gas to run on, you can do it on either one. And again, another good reason to get that uh, that leak detector. Once you get that gas line hooked up, you want to make sure it's not leaking, right? Anyway, 484 lowest price in 30 days. Lowest price in quite a while, honestly, though, I believe on that thing. It's uh, it hit a lower price in June for about a day. But other than that, the lowest price in the last year, low... Well, yeah, that was it. In fact, as far as our tracking goes, which goes back uh, two years, goes back to early 2020, that's the lowest price other than that one day where it went uh, $20 cheaper. This is a get it now kind of price. All right, other good deals we have. You need some more juice? I get it. How about 4375 starting watts, 3500 running watts? We got the champion power equipment generator here. This is your basic loud single power just gets out the juice, but for four hundred dollars, that's a that's a good amount of juice for that price. It hasn't been this price since this time last year. It seems to be kind of a, a thing they do, but yeah, uh, at the right after Christmas last year, this thing jumped up to the five hundred dollar range, eventually going as high as the six hundred dollar range. So we're back now, just literally, the price just literally fell off a cliff back down to 402 here so if you're looking for something like that that's a way to go champion i would say is definitely a tier two power equipment it's right up there with the uh with the uh the harbor freights and stuff like that the predators now look at this we got a champion power equipment 2500 watt ultralight dual fuel again this is very similar to the last one we looked at 2500 2500 but this is the newer version this is the updated version you're looking at 44 on that we're looking at 484 on this one now the only difference the reason i'm comparing it some people some people prefer to buy off of amazon some people prefer to buy off of walmart and this is that's where this is coming from it's coming from walmart so you're basically the same thing 
you're getting it for the same price, but this is the updated version. And I'm gonna have links to both of those down below. And then if you're choosing to go with which one of these or one of these, then you could choose the, uh, the retailer of your choice as it were. Now, let's talk about gasless power, all right? If this is, now I showed, I did a demo of the River 2. This is the River 2 Max. This is the next step up. This has got 512 watt hour capacity here. So you're almost, uh, not quite doubling, almost doubling it. Anyway, so this will put out 1,000 watts. That's a lot of juice. Which and, and, and being that it's got 512 watt hours, if you're pulling 1,000 out of that, it's not going to last a long time. So you're going to get uh, about half an hour out of that probably. So anyway, AC output for uh, outdoor, any anything you want to do. These, I will say, they're not as heavy as some of the other ones I've seen. They're, they're good setups. They, they've, you've got four outlets. It'll do pass through, which means like if you're using a CPAP, you can plug it in. Now remember at 512 watt hours, if you're using a CPAP like I have, that's not gonna cut it, all right? Because mine's an older one and it uses the full heat water kind of thing. So it draws about 100 watts per hour. I'd only get about five hours out of this, all right? Not good enough. But if you're using a basic one, you're going to do better if you've got the DC conver conversion and you only sleep like six hours a night, you'll probably do okay with it. Uh, but if, if you're not using the heated type, you'll probably do just fine with this and it'll do all, just fine for all sorts of other stuff. Uh, and as again, with the, uh, the pass through power backup, it's got a lot of other uses as well. All right. Also over at Walmart, of course, you know, I love to grab any of the power cords this time of the year because they come out now, they're not super heavy duty usually, 16 AWG, three prong, single outlet, nine, basically 10 bucks for 25 foot extension cord. It's hyper tough, not gonna be the super heavy duty, but for light basic use, not too shabby for $10. All right, let's see what else we got going here. We got over at Rural King, we got another extension cord, but we got the DeWalt with the lighted ends. I'd like the lighted ends. I really do because that means if I have a problem, I can just glance over and go, nope, I got power. It's something else. It's really nice to plug it in and know that you, you've got a connection there. And we're, we're looking at 25 feet on a 12.3 lighted CGM extension cord here. It's not in green, sorry, but it's in good construction yellow there. This is a good medium use uh, cord here for $12.98. Now let's jump over to Tractor Supply. I said we have some more gear wrench and I did not lie. Here we go. 32 piece ratcheting wrench set for $67. What's the difference? Well, these are not the flip socket, or, or the not the flip. These are the flip. They're not the switch type. So you are going to have to reverse them. They're not quite as nice and shiny as the other ones. I mean, they, they, they're really close. But you definitely look at these, and you can definitely tell you're looking at a prosumer piece. 72-tooth ratchet construction on that. I think the other one meant 72-tooth. I've never heard of a 73-tooth. Maybe there is. Anyway, $67.49, you're getting a, 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 a bigger set here for the same money or thereabouts. What was the last one on? I've already forgot what the price on that was. It was, where'd it go? I just had it. Yeah, we're looking at 70 bucks on that one. And then we're looking at six, a, a few bucks less on this one. Uh, I would definitely say for the average, if, if you don't need the, the flip part, if, if you're just happy with it like this, if you're a weekend warrior DIYer kind of stuff, this would definitely be a fine one to go with, all right? All right, Sportsman's Warehouse, they've got the Leatherman Charge in easy-to-find orange, the G10 multi-tool. I like the look of this. This is nice. Uh, of course, you know, I'm a big fan of the scale tool, but this is a nice setup here, and I do like the orange because I'll set these tools down. And, and if you're like me, you set it down and your brain instantly forgets where you put it. Well, you just glance around, you go, I go, I know it's orange and I look for orange in the room and a bright orange like that will just pop right out. $129, 28% off on that. That's a pretty nice deal. Now let's just hop over to Lowe's. We've got a few deals over there. We got the spider stingers here. This is your spade, wood boring, sp wood boring spade bits. So it's got the little drill bit on the end to pull it right through. And they do. Those things, if you've never used these, these are like beavers on crack. They go nuts when, it, when they hit wood. $15.98. Oh, poor beavers. They need a 12 step program. Anyway, Craftsman V20, six tool, 20 volt max, power tool kit. These are not the high end. These are not the RP. They're not brushless. This is your basic set. But for a basic set, if you're looking to get in the in the red line, 
Look at that. You got you got the drill, you got the impact, you got the multi-tool, you got the flashlight, circ saw, and the recip saw for $200 with batteries and a charger. Not a bad deal if that's the way you want to go. I'm not going to judge you if you want to go that way. And we got some batteries for you on top of it because you want to step up, get some extra batteries, 100 bucks for a pair of 4 amp hour batteries. Not a bad deal right there. All right, now let's jump over to Harbor Freight. I Somehow I missed this deal before somebody called it out to me. I said, Bear, how'd you miss this? What were you smoking? We got that new Hercules member only on sale for $100. $100, and this is giving you the router, it's giving you the plunge base plus the fixed base. So you got both of them here. That is intriguing. I will say this, I don't have enough feedback on this from anybody to say one way or the other how good it is. I've myself, the first time I touched it was the other day in store. I've not used it, I don't know. I, I'm hoping, you know, I like the other Hercules stuff, especially, I mean, they've been killing it lately, right? And if this is following that vein, if this is going to be a new alternative to the Bosch, I would love to see another player come in on that market. I really can't say. But what I here's what I will say. If you're looking for a router this Christmas, it's $100. That's beating skill. That's beating Bosch. That's beating everyone else who's allegedly at this, at this level. And on top of it, Harbor Freight's got a 90-day no questions asked return policy. It's not a warranty. People are like, it's a 90 day warranty. No, it's a return policy. So you get it, thrash it for 90 days and let me know what do you think of it. And if you don't like it, take it back and get your money back. Just going to say that. All right, what else we got here? We've got, oh, I just want to comment about this. This came out and somehow I missed it. 20 volt cordless multi-material cutoff tool there for Bauer, tool only for 50 bucks. That's pretty cool. And what else do we got? Well, how about this? There's also the high-speed electric cutoff tool. Now, this is corded rather than cordless. It's coming in at $40. Now, we got a few other things. This, just got an email about this today. Uh, a leaked, this is directly from inside, from, from our uh, undercover tool bears there at Harbor Freight. And we've got the Hercules cordless shears. We've also seen hinted by Harbor Freight themselves that there's a Bauer version of this coming out as well. Are we going to see a co-release? I'd like to see it. I will say this, Harbor Freight told us at SEMA that we would see the core set in brushless for the Herc, Herc line. And it's December 12th, guys and gals. So, yeah, when I'm, I'm tapping my paw waiting on this, all right? We want to see that that hammer drill, that impact driver, and that drill driver in brushless. We need to see it. You said before the end of the year, guys and gals and whoever. All right. This, I got a comment. Somebody asked, like, is there going to be a 20-volt ratchet in the Bauer line? I thought we talked about this before. Maybe we did. This is if you go to Harbor Freight and you go to the search bar and you type in Bauer, you get the whole, like, this is the great, you know, it shows you all the Bauer stuff, not the actual tools themselves really so much as, like, you know, all the marketing stuff for it. But this is the picture in there. And if you look right here in the picture, that is a 20 volt uh, Bauer ratchet. All right. So with a giant battery on it, who's going to put that battery on that ratchet? Nobody. Anyway, fact of the matter is there is a ratchet coming out. I like the looks of it, uh, but there will be a ratchet. Something else that's in here that nobody seems to have noticed is right over here, right to the left of the light. And it's hard to see because the Bauer thing is there, but that is a rotary tool with the uh, accessory wand kind of thing on it, all uh, like we see from uh, from Ryobi and from Hart. So besides the regular, just you know, cordless, you know, was it four volt or whatever one, and the corded one, this is going to be one that takes a 20 volt battery. It's got the base station, then it has the little wand that goes over there to it. That I'm excited about seeing. All right. Also, here we go. It's coming out. The Milwaukee 2831 Bear Tool Track Saw. They're finally releasing it. We're over at Max Tool. They're taking pre orders. Uh, and he says, let's see, we got to click on it, you know, add to cart to see the price. Let's see the price on it. Hope you're all sitting down because that's $449 tool only. <laughs> Ouch. Well, it looks like you get the tool, the track, and a blade. All right. Oh my gosh. 450 for that. Oh, I might just get the Makita. All right, here we go. We like to save the best for last tool deal of the week. We got the Snow Joe 
here. We got the uh, the cordless snow shovel quick charger here. They're coming in at $159 there. And uh, you're getting the battery, you're getting the charger, and you're getting the snow thrower there down from $225. That's a heck of a deal. Also, on top of that, they have the rest of it. We got some Black & Decker. We got some Craftsman. All the stuff people are always asking, hey, Bear, when are the off-season you know, outdoor power equipment sales? Here you go. Look at this. We got even Greenworks in here. There's a Fiskars in there. We got all sorts of stuff. Look at that. There's a 24-volt lawnmower there. There's a 40-inch or 40-volt lawnmower. We got all sorts of stuff. I'm going to put the link to this so you can check it out. We got Snapper, Skill, Scott's, all of them. She's Sun Joe. They, they're throwing it all in there. Of course, the snowblowers are sold out right now. But, you know, jump ahead. Spring's right around the corner. For those of you down south, spring never stops, right? Except when summer's there. Anyway, there you go. That's your deals of the week pre-Christmas. Stay tuned. We're going to do a Lowe's walkthrough, the best of, of what to buy at Lowe's here. That's coming up around the corner. we got a bunch more stuff coming for you. You don't want to miss any of it. So make sure you chomp that like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on your way out. You all take care, and as always, shine on.